What's up, guys? Welcome to Courtside Talks. Nice to have you back. My name is Stefan, and today we got a wonderful topic. The topic of Vasily Mitsich. First of all, for all the reporters out there who have no clue how to pronounce that name, but you'll be pronouncing it a lot of times soon, it's Mitsic, not Michich, not Mikik, or whatever it may occur to you. Mitsic, Mitsic, Mitsic. Or you can just call him Vasa. Now, if you've never heard that name before, that means that you never ever followed the European Euroleague or Anadolu Efes, or you never followed Red Star before that, or you never followed the Serbian national team, or the Oklahoma Thunder. But thank God there's a chance you can follow the Charlotte Hornets now to where Vasa Micic has been traded on the deadline, coming from the Oklahoma Thunder with just 30 games in the current season. Averaging only 12 minutes per game, 3.3 points, 0.8 rebounds, and 2.5 and assists. Now you gotta admit, those numbers don't really look good, do they? But then again, let me tell you the background of Vasily Micic. We're talking about a two-time Final Four MVP in the EuroLeague, a 21-22 season MVP for the regular season in the EuroLeague, averaging almost 20 points for only 25 minutes per game. And that guy comes to the NBA and you're like, nah, not good enough. Well, uh, let me prove you wrong. In the past night, Vasa Micic traded to the Charlotte Hornets, had his first game in almost. Had a double-double for only 26 minutes in the game. He scored 18 points, shooting 8 from 13 from the field, and had 9 assists. And he wasn't even the top player. He didn't even play his best. That's the point. You gotta know who you have on your team. Now in comparison to that, the only time Vasa scored more than 10 points double digits in a game was January 31st while playing for the Oklahoma Thunder versus the Denver Nuggets. That's when he scored 12. And the only time Vasa played over 20 minutes for the Oklahoma Thunder was way back in November, November 3rd against the Golden State Warriors back in 2023. So my main question would be to the coach of the Oklahoma Thunder, bro, why? didn't you give Vasa a chance? And to the Charlotte Hornets, amazing job, bro. You have no clue who you just got, but eventually you'll find out. And if you guys look at the post-game interview with Vasa Mitic, you can hear one very, very special thing, characteristic of all Serbs that play basketball. Um, I came with the purpose here not to be as a player, just as a member in the t any team. I came to to try to prove myself uh, on the court. We don't come to just play the game. We come to prove ourselves, to prove you guys that we're worth it and we can do so much, so much more for the chance given to us. So Vasa didn't come to the NBA just to play around in the NBA. He came to compete. Oh, and he can compete well. Just give him the chance and you'll see. Congrats to my man Vasa for having an amazing game, but I'm telling you guys, as you didn't believe in Jokic, you didn't believe in Vasa, well, Start believing, bro. That guy's going to put up so much more than you can actually see now. And he's a great addition to the Charlotte Hornets. He's a great addition to LaMelo Ball since they were once rivals back in Lithuania when Vasa played for Zalgiris. But now you have one hell of a backcourt. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like this video and leave in the comment section what you expect from Vasa for the rest of the season. Oh, one more thing. I really didn't expect that I'm going to have... A decent game. Vasa said he put up decent numbers. Not great, just decent. Keep that in mind, and I'll see you soon. Bye.